Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today I'd like to talk about programming languages, their importance, and if they're going to help you land a job. I'm going to highlight some things that I noticed interviewers find important. I hope that this will help you prioritize your time and spend time on things that will actually be valuable to you and will help you get your next job, while skipping some things that might not be necessary. So let's talk about programming languages and their importance. Before I became a software developer, I did a lot of research and I read a lot of blog posts. Often I would find these blog posts and I'm sure you've seen these as well. They would say something like top paid programming languages or developers with these programming languages made the most money in 2020. Then you'll see some small table that shows programming languages on the left and the associated salaries for developers that knew these programming languages on the right. And I remember thinking to myself, why don't I pick the top programming language in this article and focus my career on that? According to this blog post, I would be able to maximize my salary just by picking a programming language. Now this got me really excited, especially when I first started to work as a software developer, because my first software development job actually had one of those top languages that you frequently see on these blog posts. So the language was Scala, and I thought, hey, great, I'm going to stay here, learn this amazing programming language that's going to make me lots of money in the future. But then some interesting things started to happen. I started to meet some interesting software developers. So our workplace actually required developers to have proficiency with Scala. So any new developers that came in had proficiency with Scala. But then one developer came in that actually did not. And this one person actually took on the most complicated project, which was written in Scala, by the way. There was actually no moment in time when he had any challenge or any problems because he did not know this programming language. He cleared the interviews, he got the job, he took on the most complicated project written in that same programming language, and he completed it. At this point, I started to think maybe programming languages are not all that important. I took this lesson with me and I realized that a fantastic programmer will get hired over a programmer that just knows the programming language. So what if you're not the strong, fantastic programmer yet? What if you're just starting out? Does knowing the right programming language help you land your first job? When you're first starting out, I would say there might be a small effect in your favor if let's say you're applying to a Python shop and they're using Python, Django, and the whole Python environment and you're experienced with all of these things, maybe through academics or through your own time. But generally speaking, if somebody else comes in and they have some good algorithm knowledge, chances are they're going to be chosen over you. So the scenario I described and the statements I'm making are fairly general. They're true for most general software engineering positions. But there are some scenarios where the programming language is actually important. And it's not the programming language itself that's important. It's just the ecosystem that programming language runs on and all of the things connected to the programming language that are important. And these blog posts that compare salary to programming language are technically not wrong. They're just not telling you the full story. I'll give one example to further clarify this point. I've mentioned that I've consistently seen Scala rank highly in these blog posts. Taking Scala as an example, what those blog posts don't actually tell you is that Scala on its own actually does not land you these high paying jobs. Scala is used within the ecosystem of big data. And these high paying jobs, which the blog posts claim are Scala, are actually Scala, Hadoop, Spark, and all of these other tools that are tied to Scala to be used for this specific purpose. The specific purpose being what's called ETL processes, which is essentially extraction, transformation, and loading of data. So if you go and start building web applications at some company using this programming language and accumulate a certain amount of years, you will actually still not be qualified for these jobs. These jobs are tailored to a specific task and a specific skill set. A programming language is just a tool, and you should look at it as only a tool. Scala is actually only one tool in this big data toolbox, which lands these high paying jobs. And I'm sure this is the case with all those other programming languages that you see ranking highly as well. So when it comes to picking a programming language, especially your first programming language, I suggest picking something you like and or something simple. I actually have a video about why I think JavaScript should be your first programming language. I'm going to link it in the end of the video. If you enjoyed the video so far, do me a favor and hit the like button. So in which scenario does the programming language actually help you get the job? There are some software engineering roles that are heavily reliant on a specific programming language. One example would be Scala with big data engineers. Another would be C++ with embedded software engineers or game developers. So if you are interested in developing a specific type of software, such as big data systems or embedded software, or like I said, games, learn the programming language that's going to enable you to do work you enjoy. I've talked about the software engineering interview process in another video. I've mentioned that there's typically at least one step which involves a technical interview. It's either done on site or the interviewer gives you some sort of technical assignment, which you take home, complete by writing some code and then submit it back to the interviewer. So in both scenarios, I have yet to see an interviewer tell you you have to use a specific programming language. So specific programming languages are actually never tested in interviews. Something that is tested frequently though is your problem solving skills and your data structure and algorithm skills. So to summarize the entire video, 
Let your interests drive the programming language you learn. Focus on core skills such as problem solving, data structures and algorithms. Focus on the things that are going to be valuable for you getting a job and for you growing as a developer. These skills include data structures, algorithms and your problem solving skills. Don't put too much importance on knowing a programming language. You won't actually impress any interviewers with it. Software engineering has to be something you love and it has to be something that brings you joy. If it doesn't bring you joy, then you're not going to be a good software engineer. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell so that you don't miss any of my uploads. That's going to be it for today. I hope this information is useful and I hope that it will help you save time when choosing what to actually learn.